right, today we're going to learn about chickens. But Hello and welcome back to LG's Hen House. Today I'm making a video about the Wyandotte chicken. I currently have two of them in my flock. One is Sapphire, the other one's Ruby, and I named them that because they are blue laced red Wyandots. So Sapphire and Ruby. <laughs> but I am by no means an expert. I'm just making this video off of my experience with the ones that I have, along with a lot of research that I put into it. So please sit back and enjoy this video. The Wyandotte is a dual purpose chicken breed. That means they lay a decent number of eggs and an overall large breed to make it worth processing if you please. The Wyandotte was admitted into the American Poultry Association in the year 1883. The history of the Wyandotte is relatively recent as far as chicken history goes. In the 1800s, there were not many good dual purpose birds. And in the 1870s, four breeders from upstate New York and Michigan wanted to make a chicken that laid plenty of eggs and could be butchered for meat and was cold hardy. The roots of the chicken is a little unclear since the breeders did not keep any records, but both dark Brahma and spangled Hamburg may have been a part of the mix. The first Wyandotte was a silver laced. Breeders named it American Seabright, but when the breed was accepted into the American Poultry Association, the name was changed to Wyandotte to follow the tradition of naming the breed after where they were developed. Interestingly enough, the breed was named after a Native American tribe in upstate New York and Canada, although the tribe has stated it has nothing to do with the chicken. This chicken is most common as a standard size. However, they can be found in a bantam size. A standard Wyandotte cock is about eight and a half pounds and the hen is six and a half pounds, making them a bit of a larger breed. Wyandots come in many colors, including barred, black, blue-red, gold, golden laced, lemon blue, silver penciled, splash, and much more. Blue laced reds are becoming very popular, but are not currently recognized in the APA. The appearance of the Wyandotte is quite beautiful. This chicken is large and has loose fluffy feathers. They mature fairly fast with short, clean yellow legs that are well set apart and have four toes. They have yellow skin and their comb, wattles, and earlobes are all red. They also have a rose-shaped comb and that makes them do well in the cold, unlike chickens with a single comb that are more prone to frostbite. They have short tails that go at a 40 degree angle. Wyandots are fairly decent as far as egg production goes. They lay a large, light brown, cream tinted egg around 200 eggs per year or three to four a week. Being that it is a cold hardy chicken, she should also lay into the winter months. Although it is not common, a hen will go broody. And if they do, they are known to be really good moms, even to chicks that are not hers. So if you wanted to put other eggs under her, she should have no problem with it. The normal lifespan of a Wyandotte is around five years and they could live up to 12 depending on the care that they receive. Wyandots are overall a very quiet, reserved, and docile chicken. She will sing her egg song and that is about it. Because of them being so docile, they tend to get picked on by other breeds, but she will quickly put them in their place. They also tend to stick to their own breed and do not hang around other breeds. In my flock, I have around seven or so breeds, and within the flock, I have two Wyandots, who I notice will keep to themselves most of the time, but 
will be interacting with the other girls throughout the day. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos about the different breeds that I have within my flock and just some other stuff about like the broody hen. I just have another chicken that just started hatching eggs yesterday and today so it's been really exciting here watching all of that happen. But please stay tuned and thank you for watching.